Get the latest Zacks research, analysis, and rankings on exchange-traded funds in Exploring ETFs. Mortgage-backed securities ETFs. That's what we're going to talk about this time around with Eric Dutram, our Zacks.com ETF strategist who joins me now. Timely topic in uh, light of the QE3 program that was uh, announced lately, QE3. 3P, as uh, some people like to call it, because it it's, may go into perpetuity. But um, one of the parts of this new QE3 program focuses on home mortgages and trying to help mortgage holders out a little bit, right? Exactly. Uh, actually, the main purpose of uh, QE3 is to target the uh, mortgage-backed security market. And that's in doing that, they're going to buy $40 billion of bonds each month in hopes of keeping rates low and, you know, kind of boosting up demand for homes. And in that way, they're going to be buying over half the mortgages that are issued each, each month. Mm -hmm. So it could act as a huge catalyst for just increased, uh, increased prices in MBS and then also kind of helping to filter out some of the weaker components there. So it could be a huge move in the mortgage space. Although it may take some time for the consumer to realize some benefits. Definitely. We might see, might take a while because of the, some of the processing problems, but with $40 billion a month and no real end to the program, um, there could be a huge catalyst for, for improvements in the uh, mortgage-backed security market. All right, so for investors who need a little bit of a refresher on uh, investing in these types of instruments, give us some of the key details about this asset type. Sure. Well, obviously, these securities were a bit more in focus uh, a couple of years ago, but mm -hmm. for a lot of the wrong reasons. Uh, but a lot of those problems kind of filtered out because pretty much all the new mortgages are backed by government-sponsored entities, so you really don't have any risk. Obviously, that curtails the yield, but in this kind of high, in a relatively higher risk environment, mm -hmm. uh, this could really be a uh, interesting component for some investors in their portfolio. Uh, this is especially true because they're they're pooled together. Uh, so you end up getting less risk because it's uh, stretched across various different mortgages. So you don't have to worry about one person not, not repaying or one, one person uh, prepaying their mortgage. It's uh, very spread out. And with the government uh, backing, it's going to be a very low risk, low risk product as well. So investors can buy up mortgage-backed security ETFs, right? Um, what are some of the choices, other benefits in the market, in the space? Sure. Well, um, a couple of good things about the ETFs is that they can be liquidly sold on the market uh, day in and day out. There's actually four good choices uh, right now in the market. And there's over $6 billion in this segment. So there's, there's clearly some interest there. And with the Fed kind of acting as this backstop, you know, it could act as a nice uh, stopgap to any further losses in the space and be a nice way for investors to kind of diversify their portfolio uh, you know, if they're kind of sick of treasury bonds or mm -hmm. any other types of fixed income securities. So give me a couple of examples. Sure. Well, the uh, most popular one is actually MBB. It's a fund from iShares, and it has over $5.8 billion in assets under management. So you're going to get very tight bid-ask spreads. Going to make it very easy to trade, um, and it has over 300 uh, different securities in its portfolio, so you know it gets really, really intense diversification. Mm -hmm. uh, the yield is a little low, uh, around one percent, but like I said, with the Fed kind of coming in, the product could see a little, little bit of a boost uh, yeah. as we, you know, go into 2013. All right. And then another option investors have is the uh, actually the cheapest option in the space. It's Van Vanguard's uh, VMBS. And it charges 15 basis points a year for its exposure. Um, so it's going to be a, a cheaper way, but it's a little less liquid as it has less than a billion dollars in assets. But it's still a, uh, a popular choice. So bid ask spreads are going to be tight. And once again, it has a uh, yield around 1%. So it's not really a destination for yield, but it could be a real safe haven, uh, especially if the Fed continues this program for a long time. Do you own either of these? I do not. All right. Eric has some other interesting articles on ETFs that he has written and shares with you on Zax.com. And those change frequently throughout the week, so you may want to check back a few times during the week. They're in the ETF section. At least you can link to them, uh, that ETF section, from our homepage. Just get over to Zax.com if you're not there already. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.